Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. We've got a Kessley FX96W for you today. Uh, this ski is a carryover from last year. Awesome women's ski for advanced to expert skiers who are looking to do some all mountain free ride skiing with just the top level of performance and versatility. We talk a lot about the Bin 90s as a great place to be for a one ski quiver. And that is totally true with this FX96 as well. Just really well-rounded ski, narrow enough to carve clean round turns on the groomers, as well as being wide enough to handle uh, deep and soft snow, you know, up to a point on both ends, uh, but really well-rounded option for uh, that high-end skier who's looking for that top level quality and precision out of a ski. I think this Kessley FX96W answers that call uh, really, really well. Uh, we are built with a pretty sophisticated wood core. We have this central portion here that's made up of stringers of poplar and beech. Uh, so poplar's nice and light and snappy, and then the beech is more uh, smooth and stable. It does actually go in a bit of a raised format here, so while the rest of the ski thins out, the central portion of the ski uh, stays raised. So that gives you more uh, stability and power in the central portion of the ski. And then on the outer parts, it's a blend of poplar and polonia. So polonia is lighter weight, a little bit more flexible. So that gives it that free ride mentality on the outsides with that damper and stronger central cord. Um, that central cord is wrapped in basically a fiberglass sock. So not only is it a laminate on top and the bottom, but all the way around. Anytime you're curving or bending fiberglass or carbon or another material like that, you're adding strength to it. So it does make for a stronger uh, flex overall. With this big hollow tech uh, tip here, you know, we do see a softer flex in the very end, but then it definitely stiffens up right about mid body here. So it does give you more performance while keeping that nice flotation or, you know, early and easy initiation also very much a hallmark of this ski. Uh, nice and light too, this is the 164, produces a 14 meter turn radius, so pretty short turner, uh, and then is on the scale at 1,655 grams. So pretty light ski here. Certainly touring is in the, in the conversation with this. If you're looking for a nice hybrid ski that has strong downhill performances, I think that that just takes the versatility of this ski and boosts it to the, to the next level for sure. Uh, but we do see that skin fixation grip on the, on the tail, so that's a nod to that, that versatility as well. And then we're getting pretty much, you know, standard rocker and taper profile for a ski of this width and intent. Uh, nice, nice positive camber underfoot, and then pretty good rocker, basically down to where the hollow tech ends here. Um, so nice splay on top. I think that the flex really adds as built-in rocker because you really don't have to put a whole lot of pressure on it to get it to, to bend and come off the snow. And then we got some nice rise in the tail here as well. So not too long, but some nice moderate splay going on back here to go along with not a whole lot of taper. So widest part of the ski is only brought back to about there, giving you smooth tip-to-tail edge contact. A uh, really, really good ride overall. So great choice for that advanced expert lady skier. Uh, you know, the possibilities are endless when you put touring on the table, but ideally suited for that all mountain resort skier who's looking for one pair of skis to do it all. This one checks a ton of boxes. So check out this Kessley FX96W here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.